Hey there people, I'm your friend in neighborhood Let's Play Spider-Man and welcome you back here to Gabriel Knight 3. As we left off, uh, we're still exploring uh, Rennes-le-Chateau. There's still uh, just one area to take a look around at. So how about we just go out there and take a look around there. So the last area is this. This is uh, the church of the whole town. This is, well, right now I'm just taking checking out the back alley, which has a little kitty cat here. A black cat. How appropriate. Everybody always says that black cats are like uh, a bad omen or just a bad omen or just bad luck. But that's not really true, actually. It's a, it's a superstitious thing, but black cats actually are a good thing for you instead of a bad thing. Everybody always associates black cats with witches and all that. But if you do see a black cat in real life, go pet it. You Actually, try good to for share you. a little human kindness, and what does it get you? Popkiss. But then again, it's a cat. Cats don't really like strangers. You gotta get acquainted with them there first. Well, pretty much with any animal. You gotta get acquainted with them first. So let's go into the church. Alright, Gabriel is still way over there, so maybe if I look into this direction, he'll come here faster. See? There are some words written over the door. No, oh, I want the... There. Terribilis est losus iste. Terribilis est locus isti. Whatever. Locus isti. Yeah, it is a C. Yeah, terribilis est locus iste. Domus mea domus rationis vocapitur. Ic domus dei est et porta coeli. At least that's how I think uh, Latin is pronounced. Nobody actually knows. It is a dead language. There's some art above the door. That's all you gotta say about it? Well... Let's just go into the church and see if we can find anything interesting in here. Fuel for the flock. Trinkets for the trinity. How poetic. Well, he is a novelist. They got brochures, but they're in French. How about we pick I one? I don't read French. You really should. Like I said, many times, you're from New Orleans. Apparently, someone sits there, but they're not around at the moment. I would imagine it would be hmm, the padre of the place. The priest? Not right now, thanks. Okay. So, what do we have here? Mary Magdalene in some kind of a cave. A skull, a book, and a cross made from a tree with living branches. Huh. It looks like the cross is actually being birthed from the tree itself. Interesting imagery. It's Joseph holding the infant Jesus. Cool. Then who's this? Madonna and child. Ah. It's kind of a Catholic thing. Mm. Well, not just a Catholic thing, but, you know, Christianity in general, I think. I'm not huge into religion, so if I, can, if I say something... That is wrong, don't worry about it. I get a lot of religious stuff very wrong. There's a tower on top of the altar, okay. It's very interesting that it would be there. Why is there a tower up there? Really interesting imagery here on the altar. A communion cup, jeez. The last time I took communion I didn't even have facial hair. Not that I have much now. Well, because you take communion when you're a teenager, you know. The Magdalene washing Jesus' feet. They just don't make women like that anymore. That is true. That is very true. I mean, if I had a... If I had a woman in my life, it would be nice to share each other by bathing our feet. You know, it's an intimate kind of a thing. Kind of romantic, too, if you think about it. Giving you each other foot massages and such. 
Sermon on the Mount, maybe? I think that it is, that is it. The moment when Jesus is talking about uh, all kinds of stuff and turning bread into fish and, you know, something turning into fish and stuff. I don't know. Like I said, I, I get things wrong. Very, very wrong. Stained glass. It's a bit too Victorian for my taste, but Gracie loves the stuff. I'm not. I'm. I'm say, also saying I'm not trying to be ignorant or anything. It's just religion has never been a thing for me. I've never really been a believer or anything. You could call me that I'm an agnostic. I'm not an atheist. I'm an agnostic. I don't really believe in this stuff, but it can be very interesting to read about all the religions, not just Christianity, but every other religion. Fascinating stuff that they have written back in the day and still believing in that all of that stuff but otherwise just the belief uh, thing and everything not a huge believer on anything here so i'm not trying to be disrespectful or anything against religions with this uh, i gotta be stepping careful when it comes to this game because it's heavily into christianity in, in this game i wonder where this dog goes Probably the priest's private room. I'm not even sure where that door leads. It's a big pulpit kind of a thing. It's usually where... Those are usually the places where the, cre the priest climbs up into to deliver the sermon, right? At least I think so. It's a big pulpit kind of a thing. So we got all these little pictures on the side that tell a tale. I remember these stations of the cross from my catechism classes. This one shows Jesus with Pilate. Yep, there's Jesus and Pilate. Or Pilatus, as it would be said in uh, Latin. Jesus carrying the cross. Saint Anthony the Hermit. There's a fun loving guy. Jesus falls for the first time. They didn't wear much in those days, didn't they? Well, at least in the depictions of these pictures, they didn't wear much. But then again, they were in the, uh, the area of the e of the equator, so hot areas. So that's why they didn't wear much. Gabriel. Jesus and some women. Magdalene's probably one of them. Saint Germain. Never heard of her. Maybe she's the saint of relativity. Get it? Germain? Relative? <laughs> oh, never mind. I think many uh, don't get that joke. Still on the way to the crucifixion. It's Jesus and John the Baptist. They look dusty. I guess they don't take care of this place much. From the dark depths of my early religious training, I seem to remember something about Veronica and a veil. He falls again, or something. Father O'Brien would be ashamed at my memory. I'm sure that not everybody remembers each step of uh, the the Jesus Christ's uh, crucifixion moments. That's a confessional, but it looks like it hasn't been used since Vatican II. I don't think they're still taking customers. Remember that moment in Gabriel Night 1 when we had to pretend to be a priest? Yeah, I remember that too. Jesus with some more women. No, don't remember who. <laughs> I think this one is Jesus falling for the third time. It was a harsh uh, walk for Jesus, you know, have to carry that the cross and everything. What are they looking for? The last virgin in France? <laughs> Funny. Oh yeah, you can actually trace something in here. Now erase it all. It's not something that Gabriel needs to do. Arsacenia to le vaincre. 
whatever the hell that means. Per signe, signe du le vaincre. My French pronunciation is very rusty, so excuse me for butchering the language. Really do excuse me. I used to be really good at, at pronunciating French, but these days, not much. Nothing like a little satanic imagery to make a church feel cozy. I wonder why that is, even is there. It's, it's kind of out of place to have that there. I mean, that's the uh, that's the uh, bowl with holy water in it. I assume. Nothing like a little satan. Yeah, yeah, you said that already. So what's here? The soldiers take Jesus' clothes and throw dice for him. I remember that one. These really remind me of Gran. I should give her a call as soon as we get back to Riddersburg. Yeah, you should. Saint Roach. Nice legs. Maybe he's the patron saint of Gillette. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, funny. Gillette. The best a man can get. He wouldn't be having a beard if he was a saint patron of the Gillette. Of Mach 3. He's being crucified. And what's the next picture? Ah, they lift him up. I never did like these things, even way back when. Creeps me out. Then again, I suppose that's the point. He's dying for our sinuses. Sense. Mary Magdalene. What a babe, huh? Really, Gabriel? Really? That's kind of disrespectful, you know? He's removed from the cross. I mean, even I know that I already said that I'm not going to be disrespectful for, or at least try to be respectful for the religion. But that was just, just Gabriel. Jesus is taken to the tomb. And that's the last one, apparently. St. Anthony of Padua. And there's a kid coming out of a book. Scary. Almost enough to make you never pick up a book again. Well, it's a pop-up book, you know. There are those four angels again. I don't wonder what they represent. Those angels. Lots of uh, interesting imagery in this uh, church. They put a lot of effort into that. To make it look very interesting. I do like that. That's one of the things I like about this game. The imagery that they put into it. So we can also go back here. Let's see what we get here. Other than a cemetery, of course. This one's 20th century. There are very old and very new uh, tombstones in here. Tombstones? Gravestones? Maxine Lafitte. She died in the 70s. Can't say I blame her. <laughs> Do you think that the 70s killed her or something? Louis Othé. What else do we have here? If you take a look, that's an Easter egg that's, that was there. Well, let's see what we got. What else do we have here? A Jewish person? A few of these stones have a star on them. I can't read it. The letters have worn away. It says 1791 and 1861. These are old. Here's a newer one, relatively speaking. <laughs> relatively. It says Jacques Girard. 1792 to 1861. Hey, I wonder if he could be the Jacques of Frere Jacques. <laughs> probably not. Yeah, probably not. Duke de Rays, 1700s. So I am. Some of these are really old. Ici repose Madame Marie de Nernon. At least that's what I think it says. There's a heart-shaped sign in the wall. It means that here lies um, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Marie Denardu E. C. Repose, Mademoiselle Marie Denarnot, died January 1953 at 85 years old. And it was Mademoiselle, so it is Mrs. It's not Mrs. It's Miss. Madame is uh, Mrs. and Mademoiselle is Miss. 
And that doesn't even have anything because it's all faded away. Abigail Charassi. There's another one of those real faded ones. Pierre Fankerd. But this one actually is an Easter egg, but they got the, um, they've have, they have the, uh, numbers here wrong. But that is, that says Kurt Cobain from 1969 to 1995. It's supposed to be 1993 and uh, 1968. So they got the years wrong, but that is, but it does say Kurt Cobain if you take a really good look at it. Especially from a little bit further apart, you can see it says Kurt Cobain. It's an Easter egg. You know, somebody was a fan on the development development team. Somebody was a fan of uh, Nirvana, and they decided to put that into the game as a uh, respect for Kurt Cobain. Everybody knows Kurt Cobain's story, right? 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 But that's uh, that's every area in. Ren le Chateau that we can take a look at. So, how about we go back to the uh, hotel now? We're supposed to meet with uh, with Mosley in his, in Mosley's room. He did say that he wants to talk to us privately. And what better place than his own room? But first, I'm gonna go into Gabriel's room. There is something that I need to do there. Because I remembered with the cat, the cat reminded me that there are some stuff that I left behind. So let's take a, I, we didn't really take a look around in here. Furniture. Gee, how about that? Anything in the uh, nightstand? Oh, there's nothing in there but dust bunnies. Great. Somebody isn't taking a good care of this place then. Anything in the trash can? Trash cans. The mark of a really fine hotel. Nice of them to provide a little office space. Can we open this? Not right now, thanks. No, it just wants to sit. It has that a drawer in it, which is nice. I bet I bet the office supplies are in there, like pen and paper. That kind of stuff. Good thing I have all this stuff in my room. You never know when you'll need a dresser. Well, you won't need it because you, you didn't have your luggage with you. That got left behind. I don't have a damn thing with me. Your basic Y hanger. Good thing Joan Crawford ain't around. The first time when I heard this joke when I was playing this game, I didn't get that joke, that John, that good thing that Joan Crawford isn't here. I didn't get that joke, but then then I saw uh, some videos and such uh, about the movie that Joan Crawford is... Uh, it's not Joan Crawford in it, but it's about Joan Crawford, I think. It's the one with uh, Faye Dunaway as uh, Joan Crawford. It's where she. It's the famous scene where she uh, cry, where she cries out, "No more coat hangers" or something like that. So yeah. Somebody must have had a note in here or something. Because that is a duct tape, and that's what the cat reminded me of. I need to get that uh, duct tape. It's got nothing to do with the cat or anything. What is that? It looks like a hatch. Of some kind. And that is a latch. There's a lock on the door. I guess the lock prevents anyone from coming in that way. Probably. That wouldn't do much good. The door's locked. Well, how about you unlock it yourself and open it then? No, we gotta do this uh, the hard way, you know. And Revelation? That platform looks sturdy. And Revelation? It's a dumb waiter. Yep. That's also another thing that, that I didn't know what this was. What is a dumb waiter? But it's one of those in old hotels that you can order food 
from the kitchen, they put it into that dumbwaiter and then they just lift it up and then they ring the bell and you can just get it out from there. It's a it's a room service done, you know, uh, done efficiently. I may not know art, but I like it. Yeah, you like that one because it's a scantily clad lady showing off a uh, certain body part. That looks like fun, except for the rowing part. Oh, come on. Canoeing can be fun or kayaking. It can be fun. I actually have done that in real life when I was a kid. Went to a school trip to Lapland and we had to canoe a little bit. And it was interesting. It was kind of fun. Except for some of my, uh, some of my uh, classmates because they fell into the river. And it was cold. It was cold, so they didn't have a good time. And also, when they, when we went to the uh, tent for the night, uh, they put down their clothes that they that got wet. They put them up uh, so they could dry up. And one of them actually put their rubber boots way too close to the fire, and they kind of melted. Not completely, but uh, partially melted because they were too close to the fire. Yeah, rule number one: don't get rubber close to a fire. It'll metal, melt it. Who would wear a white suit in a boat? Who would wear a white suit, period? Uh, leisure suit Larry. Uh, Crockett from um, Miami Vice. Who else wears a white suit that I know of? There's a lot of people who have worn white suits in movies and TV series. Can't think of any other. Leisure suit Larry and Crockett from Miami Vice. There you go. Looks like an ad for wine. Looks like art to me. I wonder if these are actually famous uh, art pieces in some ways. That's the door to the bathroom. At least he doesn't say the usual stuff like in old adventure games where they just go, Interesting. Or, I don't see anything special about it. He actually describes that that door leads to somewhere. That's the camera going all haywire. Greatest invention since fire. I'd say so. Toilet paper. Don't need it. At least it's not the three seashells. Temple of the Porcelain God. <laughs> I've been living with two women for the past year. I couldn't get myself to leave it open now, even under pain of death. Good point. I could let you see me doing that, but then I'd have to kill you. Ah, good point. So, what else do we have here? Another trash There's bin. There's nothing in there. We got some soap that we can look at. Font of cleanliness. A towel. A daily supply of clean towels, reason number one for staying at a hotel. Why don't we have a mirror here? Why isn't there a mirror? Uh... <laughs> That's a bit anal, isn't it? Not really anal, because we're not wiping our butt on it. <laughs> That's not what he meant with anal. Font of cleanliness. All right, I, I did take a look My at it. My hands are clean, ma. Good to know, boy. Funny. I'd always heard the French didn't have those things. Shower curtains? Funny. Or bathtubs. What? Is this Saturday already? It's Saturday Night Live! Or something. Nothing interesting. Or nothing useful in there anyway. Alrighty. So, now we have explored the whole town. And we got the, the items that I forgot to take from the room. And next time we're gonna go and talk with Bosley in his room. So thank you everybody for watching, hopefully you enjoyed, and I hope you all have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning, and I will see you all next time. Take care people, bye.